long-running labor union case has finally come to an end, and it was a win for the world's largest fast food restaurant chain. Kate Rogers has the story. A big win for McDonald's in an ongoing debate over franchisee-franchisor relations and how much responsibility franchisors like the restaurant giant have over actions taken at their franchise locations. The National Labor Relations Board instructing a federal judge Thursday to approve settlements to resolve complaints against McDonald's and 29 of its franchisees in a case that's been underway for three years. What do we want? Workers claimed they faced retaliation for participating in rallies calling for $15 an hour minimum wage and unions. The decision still has to be finalized, but it means McDonald's escapes joint employer liability, which would hold corporations accountable for violations at franchise locations. The settlement places liability on franchisees. McDonald's, like all franchisors, such as Fast Signs International, uh, puts together a brand, an entity, training, supply chain, and everything. But our individual franchisees are the ones who hire, fire, make the pay decisions, et cetera, do all the management. So to finally have some closure on this vagueness of the expanded definition of joint employer is a real positive for Fast Signs and the entire franchise industry. The International Franchise Association says that an expanded definition of the joint employer rule from 2015 has stifled industry growth and increased litigation against franchise businesses by 93 percent over that time period. It has reduced the addition of over 370,000 jobs in those five years and actually eliminated about $33 billion of economic growth because of the uncertainty. Franchisors have been hesitant to grow, and franchisees really didn't know what was going to happen to their business. So this is a very positive, positive step for all of franchising, whether you're a franchisor or a franchisee. In a statement, McDonald's said in part that the decision allows our franchisees and their employees to move forward and resolves all matters without any admission of wrongdoing. Additionally, current and former franchisee employees involved in the proceedings can now receive long overdue satisfaction of their claims. Workers' rights group Fight for 15 and a union said it planned to forcefully appeal, adding the settlement is not valid. McDonald's is walking away with a get-out-of-jail-free card after illegally retaliating against low-paid workers who were fighting to be paid enough to feed their families. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers.